Hello everybody and welcome to Minnesota Twins Franchise. This is episode number 27. A four game series with the Texas Rangers. From Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. This is the final series before the All-Star break for both teams. Swinging bunt to start things off. Allows Prince Fielder to come in to score, and the Rangers are up one to nothing. Big breaking ball by Phil Hughes gets Shinsu Chu to swing and miss. With the bases loaded, and at the end of second, the Rangers lead one to nothing. Then a drive into deep left center field, into the grass over the center field wall, and Mitch Moreland with his 21st home run of the season, a solo shot. Puts the Rangers up 2 to nothing at the end of the third inning. Phil Hughes still on the mound. Ground ball to shortstop. Backpedaling. Play at second made on to first for the double play. And at the end of four, it's Rangers 2, Twins nothing. The Twins bats have been struggling lately. Eduardo Nunez grounds one up the middle for a base hit. In the top of inning number five, Kurt Suzuki, ground ball past the diving fielder at first base. Nunez on to third. The next batter, Danny Santana. The ground ball, double play. The Twins do score a run on the play. Dozier with a drive into left field. The runner at third will come in to score. That ties the game up at two. In the middle of inning number five. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. One out, runner on first. And Chu leading the American League in batting. Swings and misses at the Sean Marshall pitch. And at the end of the seventh inning, we're still tied at two in the opener here at Globe Life Park. Runner going. Throw not in time. And Danny Santana is in with the stolen base. Santana on second. Maurer grounds it up the left side into right field. Santana rounding third, heading for the plate. And the throw is not in time. Santana comes in to score and the Twins lead it 3-2. to two on Maurer's 34th RBI of the season in the middle of eight innings. Bottom of the ninth now, runner on first. Ground ball to Dozier. On to Eduardo Escobar. And the Twins go on to get the victory, taking game one of this four-game series and improving to back to 500 at 43-43 and 43 with a 3-2 victory. Mitch Moreland with a home run. Tom Wilhelmson tagged with the loss. Sean Marshall gets the win in a bullpen decision between the two teams. Rangers at 52 and 35, Twins at 43 and 43. Game number 87, the Twins and the Rangers, second game of this four-game weekend series. Heading into the All-Star break of 2016, the Minnesota Twins come in at 500. They will face Martin Perez, who is 6 and 5 with a 3.39 ERA. Nolasco on the mound for Minnesota, 8-3 with a 3.74 ERA. First pitch of the game. A drive deep to right field by Brett Nicholas. A solo home run for Nicholas. His sixth of the season. Bottom of the fifth now, Elvis Andrews with a drive deep to left field. That one is into the stands. In left field, another solo home run for the Rangers. Second home run of the season is all for Elvis Andrews. Puts the Rangers up two to nothing. Followed by Rugnet Ordor. Odor turns on one, taking it deep to right field. And this one is also going to get out. Ricky Nolasco gives up back-to-back -back home runs. 
to Andrus and Odor. Solo home run for Odor is his 12th of the season. And the Rangers are up 3 to nothing. At the end of five innings, the Twins still without a hit. Byron Buxton now. At the plate, he grounds into the inning-ending double play as the Twins are still hitless through six. Brian Dozier finally gets the Twins in the hit column with a double into the right center gap. And Dozier's on a nine-game hitting streak for the Twins. But Miguel Sano follows it up by striking out swinging, and the Rangers still lead 3 to nothing, heading to the bottom of the eighth. Mitch Moreland with a drive in a deep left center field. Buxton going back. Can't get there in time. And that is a home run for Moreland. And the Rangers go up 4 to nothing. For Moreland, it's home run number 22 of the season, and he's among the league leaders in the American League. Rangers go on to get the victory here at Globe Life Park. A final score of 4 to nothing, 4 runs on 8 hits. The Twins can only muster 3 hits while committing 2 errors. Martin Perez with a complete game shutout. And Ricky Nolasco tagged with the loss. Brian Dozier 1 for 4. Mitch Moreland 2 for 4 with a home run and an RBI. And the Twins fall back below 500. Game number 88, the third game of a four-game series. Irvin Santana facing Derek Holland for the Rangers. Santana with a 2.24 ERA. Derek Holland with a 4.32 ERA. On paper, it looks like the Twins have a chance to get take a lead in the series here. Line drive down the left field line stays fair and is into the corner. Played off the wall by Danny Santana. And Ian Desmond with his 1,000th career Major League hit. Runners on second and third with a drive deep into left field. Santana going back, looking up at the wall, and that ball is gone. Three-run home run for Mitch Moreland. That's number 23 on the season. And the Rangers jump out to a 3 to nothing lead. As they continue their onslaught of power in this four-game series. The end of the first inning, three to nothing. Three to one now, Brian Dozier with a drive into right field. Shinsu Chu going back at the wall, and that ball is also gone. And Dozier with a two run blast ties the game up at three. Twins finally showing some signs of life offensively. Dozier's 15th home run of the season drives in Danny Santana. And in the, in the middle of three innings, the Twins and the Rangers all deadlocked up at three. Prince Fielder now. The drive up the middle. Scores the run from third. Here comes the throw to third. Not in time, so you got runners on the corners after that base hit RBI. Next batter now. A pass ball gets past the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. And the Rangers score another run going up 5-3. to three at the end of inning number three. Shinsu Chu. Blast one into right field. That one's about five rows deep. For Chu, it's his 17th home run of the season, and the Rangers continue to pound the Twins pitching as they end the fourth inning up 8-3. to three. Alex Meyer now on to pitch for the Twins. Danny Santana fields it in right field. Throw to the plate. Is in time to get Prince Fielder gunned down at the plate by Danny Santana. And the score remains 8-3 Rangers at the end of inning number 5. With a runner on third. Ground ball to Plouffe. He looks at home plate. No play to be made. On to second. Dozier flips over the runner at second. On to first for the double play. But... The Rangers go on to get the victory, 9-4 over Minnesota. Irvin Santana lasts only three innings, giving up nine hits and seven runs. Six of them earned in those three innings. Derek Holland with the win for the Rangers. Shinsu Chu, 3-5 for five with a home run and three RBIs for Texas. Game number 89 now, the Twins and the Rangers. Final game before we head off to the All-Star break. Cole Hamels. On the mound for Texas, wearing their 1990s throwbacks. 
Kyle Gibson on the mound for the Twins. Prince Fielder at the plate in the bottom of the first inning. Turns on one, deep into right field, and that ball is into the second deck. As Prince Fielder hits a home run that looked a whole bunch like a Cecil Fielder home run. Into the second deck, and the Rangers go up one to nothing off of Kyle Gibson at the end of the first inning. Eduardo Escobar now with a runner on first. Gets a hold of one, sending it deep into left field. A two-run blast. Escobar's number 14th on the season. And that gives the Twins a 2-1 to one lead in the middle of inning number four. Ground ball to short. Escobar plays it on to first. And that side is retired. At the end of the fourth, it's Twins 2, Rangers 1. Kyle Gibson on the mound. Ground ball to short. Escobar ranging to his right on to Byung-Ho Park for the out. And at the end of five innings, the Twins two runs. The Rangers one run on one hit. Twins continue the great defensive play. Dozier ranging to his left. Makes the diving play on to first for the out. And then with the bases loaded and two outs, a ground ball up the middle is missed by Gibson, but... Escobar fields on to first for the out. More defense by the Twins. Escobar, glove flip to Dozier. On to Park for the double play. Bottom of the ninth inning now. A two to one lead for the Twins is no more. With two outs in the ninth. A home run by Rugnet Odor. 13th of the season, ties the game up at two. Off of Jepson, who had one more out to get the save. So a blown save by Kevin Jepson, and we're heading to extra innings here in the final game of the first half of the season, all-star break coming up. Eddie Rosario in the top of the 11th inning, gets a hold of one deep into right field. Shinsu Chu going back at the wall. Goes up for it, mistimes the jump, and that ball gets out. A solo home run for Eddie Rosario. His eighth of the season, and the Twins take a 3-2 lead in extra innings. Now runners on second and first. Base hit for Eduardo Escobar scores a run. The Twins go on to win it in 11 innings by a score of 4-3. On the strength of 15 hits, the Rangers, three runs on 10 hits, fall to 54 and 36. The Twins at 44 and 45, heading into the All-Star break, second place in the American.